Hi, my name is Ade Mimo. I'm a student of University of Lagos, third year, studying guidance and counseling. Ade, have you ever um, have you ever received have you ever fallen victim of ATM fraud? No, but my sister has. She lost one million naira. How did it happen? Well, she went to the bank and she was told that one million was taken from her account. How? They said they don't know, they're not going to be responsible for it because it was through the ATM. And she said she never lost her ATM anyways. But they insisted that it was through the ATM, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that was it. Um, has she ever responded to um, ATM scams, um, um, newsletters, emails, and SMS? Actually, I don't know because I won't even mention the bank for some reasons left known to me because they didn't take responsibility for it. I don't know what she actually did, but I might even to tell her that, man, I say you are very rich because for her to just let the one million slide like that it was something. But that was the major one that I knew affected me personally. But you personally, do you receive SMS on Yes, I have once. Um, I received one that I won something stupid, blah, blah, blah. I should fill in my details, my account number, my PIN. And I refuse to. Even she, she's experiencing something like that now. Maybe she'll tell you what was it. <laughs> so what's your experience, Miss? <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, how do you combat it? You didn't respond. I did not respond because I was very skeptical. All right. Basically, what do you think is responsible for the uprising um, number of scams and um, fraud attempts by young people? The one thing is poverty. Because in Nigeria today, our mentality is get rich quick. Everybody is yeah, we, yeah, we look for money here. Nobody really wants to work hard. And even when they work hard, when they put in their effort, they get nothing out of it. You go to school, you look for jobs. And most people are not happy. Okay, because, okay, I studied this in school. When I'm done, I go work in a bank or something daft. And I'm not really happy with it. And most people are not thinking outside the box. They are stuck where they are. So they are unhappy. And they are trying to get money the best way they think they can. Which, in the end, they are not going to make much from it. So um, a lot of people are saying um, they are doing away with their ATM card because of this fraud and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't hear you, that. Do you think, like, okay, people like your sister may decide to not, never use their ATM card again or something? Well, ATM if I so went think, through that kind of experience, I wouldn't use it. And I would even close down my account in that bank in the first place. Do you think place. it's the best? Um, Closing down the ATM business or the ATM or shutting down your ATM card is not the best. I think you should look for an alternative, make it more secure. They will bring all sorts of uh, interest rates. I don't know. I don't even care which. I've never experienced it personally, but I don't think it's the best way to avert the disaster by switching off uh, or cutting off your ATM. Use credit cards or debit cards or whatever. I, mean, I think cards, cards really help me a lot. But I don't think it's best to just cut it out. But I don't know. Maybe if I experience something terrible, then I'd know. But I reject that. It will not happen. <laughs>